ASMR, meaning that, like, the person is just doing something on camera, but is not purposely trying to, like, trigger ASMR. Um, probably, like, I don't know. So I like that video of the woman with really long, long nails typing on a keyboard and, like, chewing gum, because it's not done in, like, a super, super obnoxious way, in my opinion, and I don't think that that video was intentional ASMR, I think it was unintentional, and that's, like, one of my favorite, like, um, just pure sounds videos, but I also like get ready with me type videos, because those are totally unintentional ASMR videos, videos, and I get, like, so much relaxation and enjoyment out of those types of vid videos, as well as story times, so. Okay, name the last five ASMR artists that you watched, so let me open up YouTube and see. Okay, number one, April's ASMR. She's awesome. Love her, like, fast and aggressive ASMR videos. Um, Patala's ASMR, her expert mouth sounds video. I listened to that to go to sleep recently. Lullaby Leah's ASMR, ASMR tapping and scratching on donuts video. That was pretty cool. Um, ASMR Jade with those incredibly long green nails from What The Halley. Love those. Obsessed with those nails. Love when she makes videos with those nails. And ASMR for everyone. Her over the mic triggers. Really good vid video. So shout out to all of you guys who I just mentioned. Okay. What is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? Depends on the mood that I'm in. If I'm trying to go to sleep, I really like to listen to um, inaudible or unintelligible whisper rambles, um, as well as like mouth sounds, but not like, I don't know, not, they have to be done in a certain way for me to enjoy it. And, yeah, okay. What is your least favorite trigger to listen to? Um, fabric sounds like this. And dry hand sounds. I'm not talking about finger flutters. I'm talking about, like, that type of sound. Yeah, not it. Not for me. Excuse me. Um. ASMR to relax or fall asleep. Both. 100% both. I also am the type of person that will listen to ASMR in the middle of the day while I'm getting work done. Nothing that's like a story time or something that I actually want to watch, but like whisper rambles, unintelligible whispering, like from uh, Matt's ASMR, that type of video um, helps me relax and concentrate. Um, but to answer the question, I use ASMR to relax and fall asleep. Okay. What is your bedtime routine? So my bedtime routine is usually like, um, uh, I will, I, I shower at night. I'm the type of person to do night showers over morning showers. So, like, I'll change out of my clothes for the day, I'll go in the bathroom, I'll shower, do my skincare, you know, brush my teeth for bed. Um, if I need to, like, straighten my hair for the next day, I'll do that. I will lay out my clothes for work for the next day. Um, and then I'll get into bed and I'll either work on a little bit of homework if I need to slash feel like I can, or... I'll watch, um, like Netflix or YouTube or something. Um, I'll talk to my boyfriend, Matt, for a little bit, and then I'll try to go to sleep by, like, picking an ASMR video to finally knock out to. Um, but yeah, that's mostly what I do. Um, I literally binge-watch the third 
season of Too Hot to Handle on Netflix in the matter of like maybe two to three days. So that was a big part of my bedtime routine for a while there. Um, a lot of people think it's like a silly show and I get that, but it's entertaining and probably just like a guilty pleasure. It's a good show in my opinion. I get enjoyment out of it. It's nothing too serious, too heavy before I go to bed. It's perfect. so for the most 
most part, everybody, everybody has always been like super positive and kind. Some feedback I got from one of my like reading stories videos, I think the creepy Reddit stories video, um, I got a few comments saying to like read slower and not speak so fast, slow down. So I guess maybe that, but I don't really take that as negative. I kind of take it more as like constructive criticism. I don't know. Um, okay. What videos of yours do you think didn't get the love it deserved? So let me look at my analytics. Um, I don't know. I guess maybe one of the more recent ones that I did, the iPhone camera lens dapping, that's like one of my favorite triggers as well. Maybe you guys who watch me don't enjoy that as much, but I would think I was expecting that one to do like a little bit better. Um, as well as the Christmas tree and decor tour, just because, um, I don't know. I like to watch themed videos and see people's decorations and all that stuff, but maybe that one just was not you know, it's a vibe for people at the time that I posted it. Who knows? Uh, but yeah. Okay. Uh, what's something that the audience doesn't know about behind the scenes of your channel? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, behind the scenes. Well, I'm sitting at my desk. My closet is behind me. I'm pretty sure you guys figured that out by now. My dresser is in front of me with my tripod, my camera, and the ring light. And then I have my laptop sitting on the bed, which my microphone and ring light are plugged into. So that's like my setup. Um, yeah, I don't know. In terms of behind the scenes, if you guys have behind the scenes questions that you specifically want to know, leave a comment and I'll answer it. Other than that, I'm not really sure what to share for that one. in public. I, first of all, I don't have that many 
subscribers. I'm not like that big of a channel right now, which is fine with me. I'm happy with our little community that we have going on. Um, but no, no one has recognized me in public. And honestly, if someone were to recognize me, I'm not sure how I would like react. I would probably be so surprised. Um, okay. What inspires your video ideas? So sometimes like I'll get inspirations from like my friends or just like stuff that comes to me. Like I'll keep a running list of video ideas, but a lot of times it's from the ASMR community and other people that I watch. They, um, oh my gosh, excuse me. They give me, um, inspiration, you know, watching all my favorite ASMR days and stumbling across new types of video videos, that definitely helps to fuel my ideas and um, you guys do. Like, I always ask you guys what you want to see and leave polls on my community tab and that's super helpful to me. So, that's really where my ideas and inspiration come from. Okay, where do you find yourself spending the most time online? Probably YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and I guess Snapchat, if that counts. Those are like my most used apps. Um, but yeah, a lot of the time when I'm home at night as part of my bedtime routine, it's YouTube, watching YouTube videos, or, or sometimes Netflix, but mostly YouTube. Um, okay, and here is the last question. If it would show up. Okay, what advice would you give someone who wanted to make their own ASMR content? My biggest advice would be to just go for it, just do it, just bite the bullet, take the leap of faith, you know, whatever you want to call it, just friggin' do it, because I wanted to for the longest time, and I was just like, so caught up in the logistics of how I was going to make it happen that it delayed me actually making the channel and starting. You don't need a fancy camera or fancy equipment. You can get that stuff as you grow. Just, um, really all you need is your phone and you can just start. It's you know, that's my biggest advice. Don't be afraid to start. Just do it. Just do it. That's it. Um, but if any of you guys are interested in making ASMR content and have questions on how to get started or want advice or any of that, let me know. I'd be happy to chat with you about that. Um, but as I said, that was the last question, so I think I'm going, going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and there will definitely be more to come. I have a lot of fun video ideas planned, so stay tuned.